What's up guys, it's your boy Reggie here coming at you today with the brand new reaction video and of course today it is August 20th, 2018 and Luna is finally here. Now, the name of the song is Hi Hi and due to a very famous or popular Luna stand on Twitter, I already did hear part of it so I know that the intro was like mad fucking cute and I'm gonna like that shit. And I heard another song off the album which I think was called Stylish that I know I love because Kenlip at the end fucking slayed my spirit. But nonetheless, we're here for Hi Hi and I'm so ready to get into this because it is 8.16 and I have to leave work in about 15 minutes so let's just go ahead and hop right into it with this. And... Uh, Y'all don't know how excited I am. I've been waiting for this for like a whole fucking year. Like, I will admit that I came in on the Kim Lip era during her solo, but I still checked out all the other girls prior. But bitch, regardless, they're all OT12. I'm just so excited. So let's just go ahead and get right into this in three, two, one. And the logo man still fucking gets me because it's the whole, like, whole color change. Oh, Of course, Kim. Hey. They're always running somewhere. Okay, Vivi, get the line in this one. So like, is this like the lore video? Are they all running to each other now? Oh my god. I also love how they kept Jinso as a vocalist and not just a rapper. Oh, were they lost inside the forest? I did catch that for Wally XY. Oh, Kim Turner. Wait, so was it, was Olivia that girl in the fucking shadow and fucking odd front? Discoveries, discoveries. Oh, look at the girl that's escaping from Eden. Oh my god. Oh, I, just, I can't. Oh. My hair is still fucking ripping off this product and this, this fire. I'm just I'm, I'm too excited right now. Go on is visual bias hands down. Jinso is my bias, but Go on is the fucking prettiest bitch. Like I just can't get over her. Neji <laughs> Kondo. Of course, the baddie. My bias, Jinso. What's that? Well, not the picture, but the same. I couldn't see everything, but was that like the name of albums or songs with that flash there? This is Lucky Byron. I mean, you can only have one color, but you pick Kim's color, so clearly she looks the best in that shot, automatically. Where you going, sis? <sighs> it was just. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, let's just look at it again. Now it's been a long day. I have a feeling today. You're so mad. I'm sure. Like the intro was so cute. Oh, we never heard it. She. Hey, hey, hey. 
It gives me, maybe because I can't unhear it from Love Forever, but it gives me very like G S N C vibes when I listen to that. Because those generations are like my favorite movies all the time. Those bands seem not so good, you know, the fuck cute. Okay, so did they like split off to go find the other girls themselves? That's what it sounds like they did. It's like Cherry went off to go find somebody. She found him then. Like, of course, the kitty, you know, she saw her on the map. Kim just found some Jay. Cherry the rap, bitch. So, my thing is, is that how Olivia got lost and then found her with that? Now, hold on. Cause is there, like, beef, though, between her and Eve? Because Eve left her ass. Like, what's going on? Okay, oh, no, nice, because she lucky. She's like, oh, yes, girl, going to get my bitch. Yes, that was cute. Like this song is like a perfect balance of like just daddy, cute, just everything. Like the nation's new girl group. We have visuals out the ass. We have vocals out the ass. What more do you need? That had to be chill. That was chill. That was definitely chill. I don't need a fucking queer video or a lyric video to tell me that was true. Oh, they're all running to each other. Also, what I don't want to fucking hear is motherfuckers complaining about line distribution. If you've been in K-pop for as long as I have, you would know that a group of that size, bitch, everybody ain't going to get equal fucking lines. That's why you have a vocalist, a dancer, a rapper, and visuals. Everybody ain't going to be singing all the time because that ain't everybody's strong suit. But anyway, I just, uh, that was everything that I needed. It, it's giving me very, like... Girl Generation G era, and that's when I came into K-pop was right around that time. So this is just very like, it's, it's just getting me right in the place where it needs to be. Like Luna was that girl group that literally sparked my whole re-interest into K-pop before because I was just following my own groups that I loved, like just keeping it with Red Velvet because I follow their choreographer on Instagram. So every time he would post something, I knew Red Velvet was coming out like EXO, but, but these girls literally have got me on Reddit checking for updates, checking teasers, like checking everything. Like they're here and I just, oh, I just can't wait for more music. I can't wait for more subunits too. Cause I know they are not just gonna let the R&B smooth girl crush type of shit go. Cause Chaotic is still the undisputed champ of beat sides till this day, don't at me. Now if you like what you guys see, go ahead and hit that like button down below and don't forget to push that subscribe button so you know when I be posting more videos and just, I'm gonna be listening to this for the next year. I'm still listening to Eclipse like I came out yesterday. Probably gonna do the same thing with this. So if you guys enjoy your day, Orbits, we're finally here, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.